Hey everybody, this is Russ Carson Jr., one of the genealogists here at Family Tree Nuts, and I'm in Lexington, Virginia. I'm at a uh, cemetery that's what's known as, it used to be called uh, Presbyterian Cemetery, but now it's uh, known for a very famous man, uh, the uh, General Thomas Stonewall Jackson Cemetery here in Lexington, Virginia. Most of you know that uh, Thomas was born in modern day West Virginia. His parents died at a young age and uh, the family was in poverty and he was sent to live with one of his uncles. Um, when he was a teenager, he decided he wanted to go to West Point and uh, him and another gentleman from his community applied or took the exam and uh, Thomas Jackson failed. The other gentleman passed and went to West Point and uh, hated it up there. So uh, he came home and when Thomas Jackson found out about that, he uh, petitioned his congressman to sponsor him to get into West Point. Thomas Jackson started very poorly in school but worked his tail off and uh, ended up graduating 17th in his class. I and mean, after graduation at West Point, uh, Thomas served in the Mexican War and uh, earned the rank of major until he left the Army and uh, took a job as a professor at uh, Virginia Military Institute, VMI, which is just over here on the other side of town. Thomas was here from 1858 until 1861, until, uh, as you know, the Civil War began and uh, said he marched right out of uh, Lexington here with a uh, unit of cadets from uh, VMI. Most of you know about his heroics and how he earned the name Stonewall. That isn't what this video is about. It's to uh, bring you to his graveside here. And uh, known he was killed by a friendly fire outside of Chancellorsville. He was actually shot three times and died eight days later. Um, his wife had been visiting with him with their baby daughter, Julia, and she was called to care for him. Stonewall Jackson was brought back to Lexington and the cadets at VMI carried him and carried his body to be on display in his classroom. Um, and he's buried right here in the cemetery. Uh, you notice those yellow things all over the ground. Those are lemons. Um, you see lemons right here. Thomas loved eating fruit and they had confiscated some fruit in one of the battles of the Civil War and uh, Thomas was seen eating uh, some lemons. So, uh, so many of the men talked about it, wrote home, said, hey, I just saw General Stonewall Jackson eat lemons. Anytime anybody famous did something, uh, people would love to talk about it. So everyone assumed that uh, General Jackson loved lemons. So it said that uh, folks come in here and make a wish and throw in lemons for good luck. And you can see they're all around down there. I did it myself, as did my wife and my son there just a little bit ago. So uh, if you ever come up here, make sure you bring a lemon to throw in. Buried here, of course, is his wife and some other family members of Stonewall Jackson. Uh, some other people buried in this cemetery, there's a couple of governors, of course, a whole bunch of Civil War veterans, uh, mostly Confederate, of course. His sister-in-law, a uh, Margaret Junkin Preston, who was known as the Poet Laureate of the Civil War, is buried here with him too. So it's a very old cemetery. Uh, there are some newer graves spread out here and there, but uh, it's definitely a uh, neat sight that I wanted to take you to. This is the grave site of uh, Confederate General Thomas Stonewall Jackson. And remember, family tree nuts. Let our nuts find the nuts in your family tree.